There we are. All right. Okay. So, hello, hello, everyone. Okay. So, welcome, everyone, to Storytime with Teacher Cole. Today, we're in for a magical adventure with Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. So this story is all about a kind witch, her trusty cat, and some new friends they meet along the way. But with all those friends on one broomstick, you can probably guess what happens next. <laughs> all right, you guys. So for those who don't know me, I am Teacher Cole, and I am the owner of Teacher Cole's English Quarter. And today you are joining me for story time with Teacher Cole. So get comfy and let's see how this bitch manages her broomstick and all the unexpected adventures that come with it. Are you ready? Let's dive into the story, shall we? All right, let's share our screen and get busy. Go. Oh. All right, here we are. So we have Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Alex Scheffler. Okay. The witch had a cat and a very, very tall hat, and a long ginger hair, and long ginger hair. Do you know what ginger hair is? Does anybody know what that is? Ginger hair. Has they, everybody heard that term before? Well, my sister has ginger hair, and ginger hair is when you have red hair. We call it ginger. All right, let's take a look here. So she has long ginger hair, which she wore in a plate, in a braid. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Ooh. Flew off her hat. Where did it go? What do you think? What would you do if you were the witch and your hat blew away in the wild, wild wind? Let's see. A little bit bigger. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and Good whoosh, morning, they everybody. were gone. Change I was, uh... There we go. Hmm. Do you think the broomstick will be able to hold them all? Dog, witch, cauldron, cat, and all. Why or why not? How do you think the cat feels about sharing the broom with the dog? You see the cat in the picture. How do you think she feels? Uh-oh. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed 
aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plate. Oh no, she lost it. <gasps> Where will they find it, do you think? Can you tell in the picture? Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ink-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied her plate in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Mm. What do you think the bird will add to this amazing adventure so far? How many animals can she fit on this broom? I wonder. Over the reed and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the storm wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Hmm. Where do you think they will find the wand? Who has it now? Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And... The broom snapped in two. Oh, oh, the broom has broken. Did you think this would happen? What should they do now? Hmm. I don't know. How would you feel if you were on this broken broom? How would you feel? What do you think? Mm. Let's see what happens. Maybe they can fix it? Not sure. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no. Which is in trouble. What do you think the roar is? <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. Mm -hmm. Cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. 
Do you think the witch's friends have left her when they fell off the broom? What will the witch do, do you presume? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's find out. I hope she can escape. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. As he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon inside. Oh, what does this show about their friendship? Do you think they are good friends? I think so. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something. In. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Igetti, zigetti, zaget, zagetti, zoom! Then out rose. What? what is it? What is it? What could it be? A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch as they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plate. How the cat bird and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. Wow, what an amazing story we had today. That was wonderful. This is a new one for me as well. I have not heard this one before. So now that the broom is fixed, what do you think the adventures these friends will have? Do you think this is a much better broomstick than before? I'm not sure. I think it's quite interesting that she had seats, a nest, and a shower. Why give the frog a shower and not a seat? Interesting. <laughs> All right. So wasn't that just an amazing adventure? We learned that even though the broomstick was a bit crowded, the witch and her friends worked together. And in the end, their friendship helped save the day. What do you think the biggest lesson in today's story was? I think it was all about kindness, sharing, and how teamwork can solve the biggest problems, like dragons. Now, before we wrap up, I want to invite all of you to join our TCEC, Teacher Cole's English Corner Facebook group, where you can enjoy even more stories, activities, and updates. We have a wonderful community where you can connect, ask questions, 
and stay informed about everything exciting happening at TCEC. And this week, we've got something special for you. On Thursday at 6.30, GMT plus eight time zone, Teacher Tammy will be hosting a fun-filled Teachers Live session all about Halloween vocabulary and simple conversations. So whether you're learning new words or getting ready to talk about your holiday plan and your Halloween plans, this session will be perfect for beginners and intermediate learners. So don't miss out on this exciting chance to boost your English skills with a spooky twist. Feel, don't forget to join our Facebook group and find our event links and you will see more details, all right? I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another story time with Teacher Cole. Goodbye, everybody.